I don't know how long you've been at. Uh, I know I, most of my time is on the Kaneohe campus, ah. so no, I don't. I haven't noticed much of a change. Mm -hmm. What are you studying? Environmental studies. Ah, what are you yeah. going to do with that? I have no idea. <laughs> I wanted to work in the federal government, but <laughs> yeah, that may not be so easy anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Are you an undergraduate or graduate? Undergraduate. You plan to take graduate degrees? I'm thinking about it, but I would like to take some time off in between. Yeah, yeah. travel if you can. If yeah, you can. I actually, I'm going to go spend um, a whole summer in France because my sister is in a graduate program, and I'm going to take care of her kids and just live in France with her. Oh, that's great. Yeah. In Paris? Uh, no, in Angers. It's in, like, central France. Okay. Yeah. It's just to the west of Paris. Though. Yeah, like a little bit, yeah. Yeah. So talk to me about uh, immigration policy and globalism. It seems to have changed for this country in the past. Oh, okay. yeah, a little bit. And, uh, you know, a lot of people agree, even here, with what Donald Trump has done. I, I know that's hard to Oh, believe. really? But, um, yeah, and now we, we have major changes at the foot. And I wonder how you think, how do you feel about that? Well, I'm pretty upset about it because one of my close friends, her dad is Syrian. So since we were in high school, they've been going to Turkey to visit their Syrian family who will have to come across the border. And now there's just no chance of them leaving Syria and coming to live with them in, you know, a relatively stable environment. How about on, on a, larger, a larger scale? How about on the question of uh, whether this is consistent with American values? You know, Absolutely not. I, I don't think so. Uh, you know, America is entirely built on immigrants, it's with the exception of Native Americans. And immigrants came in and killed most of them, so, <laughs> like, the whole policy, in fact, is very flawed. Because even if we had immigrants coming in and, like, killing a bunch of Americans, it would still be consistent with American history. <laughs> Interesting. Well, what about the notion of globalism? You know, we've had uh, Thomas Friedman wrote a book in the 90s about globalism, the flat world, you know, and uh, so many things have gone global, so many, you know, phenomena mm -hmm. uh, are now global phenomena, business and so forth, and diplomacy has changed. I mean, how do you feel about this administration's approach to uh, the question of, of global development? I mean, in terms of energy use alone, because I'm an environmental student, I would say we definitely are putting ourselves on a path of losing out. Um, in terms of a global scale, denying a lot of science that has to do with green technology. I mean, even if we lived in an area that relies heavily on, like, the coal industry, there's no denying that the industry itself is dying. So trying to prop it up on our own is going to be ineffective. And by separating ourselves so much, we're really losing out on potential... Um, economic growth, social development, you know, environmental prosperity, I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. um, that's. Yeah. What about what about climate change? This administration apparently <laughs> takes the position well, more than that it doesn't really fact, exist. <laughs> yeah, that there is no climate change happening, and that's all the ruse. Um, is it a ruse? And how do you feel about the administration's position? Well, I think that even if it were made up let's just say entirely it was made up if your doctor is telling you like you are going to get diabetes with the next donut that you eat that's what all the scientists are telling us about the climate like the next barrel of gasoline is gonna tank us so maybe we should stop you would listen to your doctor so it's kind of ridiculous that we're just ignoring all the scientists and if they're wrong i mean is there really anything bad about having a cleaner environment like do you really not like clean air or water <laughs> so yeah now he's about to president trump is about to appoint a few minutes away i think um uh, a new supreme court judge because the oh. democratic appointee was, was blocked for almost a year mm -hmm. Republicans in Congress and uh, now he's going to appoint one or nominate one mm -hmm. today in minutes and I wonder uh, and that and that appointee is very likely to be against Roe v. Wade uh, sworn to upend Roe v. Wade and mm -hmm. uh, you know uh, right to choice and I wonder how you feel about that and the Supreme Court's uh, appointment in general well this is a little bit more touchy um, I think that a lot of people will tell you that they personally don't want an abortion or anything, but it still is 
not consistent with American values to deny other people a choice to be able to do that. Like, I'm not allowed to tell you that you can't eat candy. Eat, like, those bills have been proposed and they've been shut down. Like, junk, junk food taxes have been shut down consistently because America is supposed to have the freedom to make choices. So, you know, if they're saying you can't have an abortion, then they are just totally going against every core American value that they say that they defend. Well put. Yeah. Well put.